Classic New York undoubtedly includes Italian food, which is why I'm here on Arthur Avenue. This is the Bronx, and this is the original Little Italy. Now I'm going to meet up with my friend John Mariani, who's a food writer and columnist for Esquire magazine, and he knows a lot about this neighborhood. John, this is Little Italy. This is classic New York, right? This is an area that you know really well. I was born not too far from here, and my family has always shopped here. This is the Belmont section of Fordham in the Bronx. It's the culinary scene, which is why we're here, and it's really a culinary treat. I mean, you have Mario's, we have Dominic's over there. Mario's it's was really... back in 1919, opened as a pizzeria. Across the street is, is Dominic's, which can have a line out the door on Saturday night. At the end of this block, there's a place that does nothing but sell about six different cheeses. Oh, wow. I mean, that's all. All that talk about the food is making me hungry, so I think we should go into Mike's Deli. Good and idea. see what kind of uh, yummies we've got in there. Buongiorno, David! Hey. <laughs> How are you? I believe you come here. Thanks for we'll having me. My pleasure. You're going to help us finish these sandwiches? I'm going to help you do whatever you're doing oh, here. Good. When we talk about classic New York, your classic New York. This place is very New York. I appreciate What we're going to make is very Italian New York. New York yeah. This is what you guys are famous for. You do all these caterings. You do whatever yeah. anybody calls and asks for. We're very fortunate that we have people that call around the world. Yeah, I'm going to get an apron on you. We're going to make some fresh mozzarella. Now I think I can see you stretching the mozzarella. Bye. Buongiorno. I'm in love! That's That's great. We're gonna start making the mozzarella now, no problem. Are we? <laughs> the milk fat, the butter fat, the rennet, the whey. This is the shebang right here. It goes right up here. here and you push it through. Mozzarella in Italian means cut the small pieces. Mm. That's where the name mozzarella comes from. Now we go in the second recipe. Now the secret recipe, Bronx tap That's water. That's warm water, this. Right not from too, the sink. No too hot. Oh, wow. Now, you get? with your hands. Oh, this is break all the fun. Pieces. Baby, you're the one for me. <laughs> and now, this is the power. Don't hurt me, please. No, no, I no, came no. to help. Now, this is where the now, beauty help me take comes out the knots. You see what my hands do? Just pull. Okay. But be delicate, but firm. Oh. Now, you're going to help me do the Mike's Deli stretch in a second. This is the fun part. This is fresh curd, so we don't want to overstretch it. All right. So this is the dry mozzarella. We stretch it more. Ah. What you do is you get a face, and then you get the body and continue all around. You see what I'm doing? Make it Have a you ever made pizza dough? I Similar many pizza times. dough. Follow my moves. You ready? All right. All right. Get the face. Oh, oh, easy. The body, the face. What are you doing? I don't Stretch know what I'm it out. doing. And you're tucking. You're tucking with your fingers, tucking everything inside. And now you're going to seal it. A chokehold. Your fingers around it, and then with the other fingers crossing over. And there you go. Good job. This is the Parmigiano Reggiano. Rocco. The best. You can't get any better. These Parmigianos are average 90, 90 pounds, 88 to 95 pounds. Mm -hmm. We're going to go all technique. around. See, now, this, the, what this knife is doing is not cutting so much as separating uh -huh. it so when this comes out. Go adding some air in there to crack it. There we wow. Go. Right. The reveal. Look uh, at that. See the granular smell, texture? Smell this. Oh, it smells so nutty and delicious. It does not get any better than this. Salute.